Pass it to my boys, Chuck Hollow and Polo. Real heads listening, got just to the intros. Knowledge of the realness, y'all should really feel this. Always down the ball, harder than y'all's witness. This here's really for the real fans of those who've never really been bandwagon fans. Listen to the real talk straight up from the stands. It's parang parang Jalen Rose. Jalen Rose. Wallis, Wallis. It's kind of perfect, no? Um, it's ex- incredibly traffic outside. Uh-huh. It's incredibly depressing. The rain is just pouring out there, uh-huh. and it's perfect because this is just a completely insane moment in the PB in the PBA, and I'm pretty uh, sure it's safe to say that a lot of people are as sad as their weather is. Right there. Shout out to all the Pure Foods fans stuck in traffic right now. Guys, <laughs> hold on, hold on, seriously. Ooh. What's up, guys? This is episode seven. Yes, you did it on your own. <laughs> up from the stands, I realize I'm gonna have to do my research because <laughs> it's gonna be a jam-packed episode, so I need to be prepared. Um, you have the entire team. To my right is uh, Carlo Pamidoan. <laughs> <laughs> We're pointing at Paul. Hi guys. Okay. To my left is uh, Paul Mustafa. My name is Chuck Raneta. Uwi. So ano tapik mo? Parang wala naman masadun tanga. Wala masadun. Ano SMB? Uh, uh, Leo Awards. Yeah. yeah. FDS Awards. Or that other thing that happened this week. <laughs> oh, you're talking that about minor, that minor thing that happened. Just, just, just the most, uh, the greatest and most uh, heralded coach in PBA history transferring teams. <laughs> Um, from a Grand Slam team to Barangay Hinebra. <laughs> just <laughs> something <laughs> just to just okay. just, Grand Slam, linawin mo, Grand Slam team. Grand Slam team. Two seasons ago. Two, a, a Grand Slam winning team to Barangay Hinebra. Did I say anything wrong? Yeah. No, no, no. That's very, that's factual. <laughs> Guys, Tim Cohn is now the head coach of the Barangay Barangay Hinebra. Tim Ko, no? Come at me, bro! <laughs> What? What are you going to do? Tinan mo yung ngiti ni Ellie. Mm-hmm. Tinan mo yung ngiti ni Ellie. Tinan mo yung pain sa mukha ni Chris Ellis. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 Tim Ko's like, what are we going to do? Eh, eh, I'm just following orders. <laughs> what, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Um, okay, wow. Uh, okay, so we were talking about this and you know, the reality is that there's really no <laughs> perfect way on how to break down this because I, here's the thing I feel like hindi pa tapos eh I feel like this is only the beginning I feel like yeah okay we know that coach Tim is now going to Hinebra but uh-huh. there are still so many unanswered questions who's going to join be the him. head coach of, of Pure Foods uh-huh. who's gonna join him in Hinebra who's uh-huh. gonna move to Pure Foods the players you see in that graphic might not, not actually be the exactly. players by the time yeah. 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 exactly uh, you have Greg Slaughter tweeting sons Sunshine. Sunshine. Sunshiny day. Phoenix. Yeah. Phoenix. Phoenix Petroleum, why not? Um, who knows where Baraco and Global Port players are gonna go? Hindi natin alam eh. But all we can really do right now is talk about what's happening right now. And what happened? Well, what happened right now and this is, this is one of the most explosive moves in, in, in recent memory here in the PBA. And that's saying a lot because we're used to a lot of crazy things happening in the PBA. Um, I, I think before we can talk about wh- what's happening right now or what happened, you know, we need to talk about how we actually got to this point. And oh. you know, I, I think it really does start with the inability of Barangay Hinebra. No offense, Paulo. The inability it's factual. It's again, factual. It's factual. It's factual. The inability of Barangay Hinebra to win a championship and maybe getting you know, the pressure just mounting and mounting and mounting to the point where You know what? Management decided to do something drastic. Okay, I mean, we already heard it. Eh, na RSA said. But kana ang ite? Eh. Serioso, serioso yung discussion. Walang bias. Walang bias. Walang bias. Walang bias. Wait, who said so, walang bias? Wala, walang. <laughs> clearly, my bias. Okay. I mean, clearly there's Kailan a bias. Kailan walang bias? Uh, I mean, clearly, <laughs> no. Even ma- even SMC management. Clearly, there's a bias. Uh, RSA said that they. Essentially, gave the people what they want. That this was a move done by management for the fans, and that's it. Eh. I, for the fans of Hinebra. For the fans. Okay, I'll clarify. For the for, for the fans of Hinebra, and you, you already said it perfectly. That the the pressure got to a level got to a level na unbearable na people had to moves had to be made, mm. and fortunately, this was the move. 
it what sorry unfortunately 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 unfortunately, unfortunately for for both teams what? <laughs> For both for teams. For both teams. Uh, for both teams. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait. Kalo ba hindi nga na fan ng pure food? Hindi ko. Uh, time hindi. out. Time hindi out. Hindi na ako time fan out. ng pure foods. Hindi ko lang naiintindihan why it's unfortunate for a Hinebra fan to get the best coach in the world. In the world. In the world. Ilan tayo si Phil Jackson? Mas nine, mm. eight, mm. eight, eleven. 11? Hindi ba 11? 3-6. Yeah. yeah. 11. <laughs> I forgot the Lakers. They don't count. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> Sorry. You, you were making a point? I was making a point that it's unfortunate for Inebra. I'll make that point later. But right now, we're talking about how it got to this okay. point. So, we know the story of Hinebra in this, in this previous uh, season. Starts the season with Coach Jeff Carriazzo. It feels like such a long time ago. It feels like such a long time ago, right? Then, triangle, shout out to the triangle. In the Commissioner's Cup, they go back to Coach Ato. No, 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 no. You started with Coach Jeff yeah. wearing the long sleeves and the necktie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Coach Jeff wearing the shirt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the shirt. They never shirt. You know what? I wanted, sorry, I just wanted to go back to that moment. When he started off wearing the necktie and the, uh-huh. the long sleeves, uh-huh. I was so proud because I felt like You know, it's to it, it, or or at least my influence. Yeah. Like he was able to influence the coaching staff and mm-hmm. management enough to dictate at least the outfit. And it's gone. When he started wearing the shirt, I knew na parang okay. He he has wala talagang real control si Jeff. Uh, and then bumalik si Ato Agustin for his what third? Yeah, because they said he was gonna bring back run and gun. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> which was troublesome. Which was troublesome because the least. they started by getting Dorian Pena. They <laughs> <laughs> started conference by acquiring Dorian Pena. Um, just a, just a, wait, lang, before you continue. I viewing, laugh because it hurts. Viewing discretion, guys. Get get some coffee. <laughs> Seriously, this is gonna be a long episode. Gumo kayo ng mga RTD niyo, whether it's coffee or whether it's Nescafe or greatest or whatever. We're Please sponsor us. We're gonna be here, <laughs> gonna be here <laughs> any of those brands. for a long time. Okay, then finally. The in the in the Governors Cup they get Coach Frankie Lim. Guinness panate. Guinness panate. He threatened to trade us. <laughs> It turns out he was the one who was traded. Not even traded. Oh wait, I, I'll speak to that point. I'm, uh, you know, I said it's unfortunate. It's also unfortunate because I feel that Coach Frankie Lim never got his fair shake. Of sure. course, he course. never got. Yeah. He never got a real chance. And that whole he got. Dismissed or he got fired because of that Abueva incident. Mm. It was barely an incident. Like he was, was it, he was practically moving his foot out of the way. No, no, no. Coach Yang is still in the PBA. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and and the most upsetting part for me was that there was real progress with Coach Frankie, mm. and that that's 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 where that's where I stand on it being unfortunate, in the fact that. You know, he got Jape to look like at least being a BPC player again. LA Tenorio looked like he was carrying yeah, on yeah. defense again. Yeah. Um, he got the rotation down towards the end of the. I know, diba? I mean, there was real progress moving forward, and then this happened, and yeah. I feel that it's again starting from scratch. But I'll make that point later. Okay, flip side, the man. Mm. Pure foods. Mm. Pure foods too. Seasons ago, wins the whole thing. Uh-huh. They win four straight championships. They, they, they get used to this mentality of, of, of finding ways to win, of finding ways to rally, despite you know, starting conference slow. But what happened was, um, this, this entire season, Philippine Cup eliminated in the quarterfinals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They didn't even make the quarters. Quarters, they, phase one. Yeah, the phase one. Secondly, they made it to the semis. Same thing also for here in the Govs Cup. Do you think that had something to do with management saying, "Hey, you know, maybe the players aren't responding," or anymore. they need like they need a fresh? This is so stupid. They need <laughs> <laughs> they need like a fresh start. I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to be I'm trying to be as as diplomatic and as objective as possible. Your your hands hurt from grasping at straws. I know it's it's so hard. <laughs> Here, yeah, grasp but, at straws. <laughs> pero para this sa akin, is my explanation, guys. Para sa akin, a, a championship. Somewhere there in the season would have made it impossible for the SMC management to do this. Hmm. Um, you can't transfer a winning head coach while he is winning. Hmm. Um, so if you're asking, kung napadale yung change because they, they didn't, didn't win, happen. I think so. I think so. Pero alam mo yung 
Alam mo yung Meralco timeout? Feeling ko that was the perfect we go back to that parang no? encapsulation of yung season ng Star Hot Shots. That, as early as then? That timeout with Meralco. It was the players not responding. Mm. And it was Coach Tim Cohn doing his best to make them care again. Yung feeling ko nun parang siya si Leonidas eh. Tapos kasama mm. ako dun sa 300. Mm. Yung mga, parang ganun yung, mm. ganun yung feeling mo. Tapos after two conferences, biglang, guys, sinabi ni God, di pa tako ay Xerxes. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, uh, aw, aw, but, oh, but brave King Leonidas. <laughs> but I'm moving there. I'm going to move. Whew, tough, tough for Slow, pure food. Pusina style. ka naman, bro. Tough for pure food. ka naman, bro. Um, damn. Uh, no, I'll ask you, Chop. I'll ask you, Chop. Was this how you felt when Tim Cohn left Alaska? No, it has to be said. I mean, it has to be said. Yeah, he it, was with it, you guys for 20 years. He was yeah. with Pure Foods for four. So, that's lang yan. This isn't my story to tell, but here's my point. Pure Foods fans, I love you guys. But this is nothing compared to what Alaska fans felt when Tim Cohn left Alaska. I, I'm just being real. I'm just being real. You guys had it for four years. We had it for 24. Uh, it's nothing. I mean, I know how you guys, I know you guys are hurting. You lost a great coach. I guess what really hurts is it's fresh from a Grand Slam. So parang napaka recent ng success. Kate coached teams sa Alaska. You know, they, they hadn't won a championship in a while. Then they decided to, or whatever happened, he was gone. But parang yung one conference, nas, yung, yeah, oh, yeah. yung four, sa, con, yung three conferences years. na sinasabi ni Carlo oh, Shout out to Diamond Simpson, last championship <laughs> yeah. of Alaska with Tim Cohn. Uh, Malay mo, import na lang Hinebra next year. <laughs> Height? <laughs> Pasok naman sa height limit, di ba? So wait, it yeah. didn't hurt so much when Tim Cohn leaves after one conference, right? No, it's gonna be, ano, you'll get over it quickly. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Alaska fans, uh, some, of, some of us are still not over. Okay, I need to ask you this, Paul, because, um, you know, I, I'm sure that there are a lot more Hinebra fans that you are communicating yeah. with. And I need to ask you this. Were, were there actual fans who wanted Tim Cohn to be head coach of Hinebra? Did you actually see that on your timeline? Did you actually see, Sir, sana maging coach ng Hinebra si Tim Cohn? I mean, I want to just ask this para malatag natin yung discussion based on, based on this. Okay, wait. Although it's a very flimsy thing, but yeah. you know, I want to I wanna see. I'll apologize firstly to Pure Foods fans. Why? You don't own the, owe them anything. I don't owe them anything, but a lot of them were like, Sana masaya na kayo. <laughs> Binuwag nyo team namin. <laughs> I, I didn't want this. Like, this was... I got... Some hate from Pure Foods fans. Mm. I won't lie. And there were some Pure Foods fans also pouring their heart out. Na parang, but but ganito, but ganito ng uh, To be fair, Pure Foods fans would have body slammed their own grandmothers to have Tim Cohn back. So yep. hindi ako nagugulat yeah, yeah. dun sa reaction yeah. nila. I, I'm sure that's the mildest yeah, of yeah. the mild. So first, I want to apologize. Uh, I I I wanted no part of this. I mean, it's not something that. That pleases me to have Tim Cohn in Hinebra. Now, as for the Hinebra fans, a good 60-70% of them, um, and the, the, a lot of the fans that I interact with on, uh, on Twitter are very level-headed fans. They're not, uh, they're not like, hindi sila um, crazy na all out, all out yung pagka NSD nila. They're very level-headed and they're very intelligent in what they, they articulate what they say mm. very well. And a lot of them were upset that this is the fourth Coach. coaching change. So parang, that's the biggest issue. Yeah, that's the biggest issue for a lot of the Hinebra fans that, that, that have interacted with me. Na parang, bakit palit na naman? Kahit na si Tim Cohn pa yan, it mm. felt like it's another restart. And mm. we, as a fan base, have experienced three restarts. Na parang in, in, in three conferences, <laughs> di ba? So this is another restart. And it felt like, I guess, a lot of them also saw the progress that they made under Coach Frank Hillen. Yeah. And the other 30, the other 40%, were in the mindset na, wala na tayong magagawa dito. Tim Cohn's our new coach. So, some of them were actually very excited. Yeah, okay. Granted, but I want to know before it happened. Before, Before. It when uh, when Hinebra was losing this entire season, after Phil Cup, after Comish Cup, after Govs Cup, when you got eliminated, did you actually see on your timeline, sana makuha natin si Coach Tim, or is there may chance ba tayong makuha si Coach Tim? No, actually, a lot of people were preaching continuity. Exactly. Then, okay. Exactly. Bookmark, bookmark natin yan. Bookmark yeah. natin yan. Like, 99% of Hinebra fans, in, in all those three conferences, said that they would like to keep 
the their existing, coach. the existing okay. coach. It didn't matter if it was well. Okay, at Augustine, not so much. Ne, kind of, kind of, a little bit. Yeah, but no one said. Co- no, I never saw the hashtag Coach Tim to him. Yep, it's a mix of like what you said, um, uh, Frankie Lim and everything. Plus. Pure Foods and Coach Team are untouchable mm. in the PBA. It looked like. Yeah, at the time, at the time, like. before all of this happened. Okay, so now I want to I wanna ask you, Polo. Um, what are your thoughts on all of this? Ako muna. Oh, sure. Isa lang, isa sure, lang. sure, sure. Para sa akin kasi, if, if, you're, if you're looking at it from a Hinebra perspective, if I beat Pure Foods, I want to beat Pure Foods at their very best. Exactly. I cannot accept that Natalo ko yung Pure Foods by getting their head coach. It, mm. it doesn't appeal to me as Coach Frankie Lim beating Coach Tim Cohn and the Star Hot Shots in, in Game 7 of the Finals ng All-Filipino Cup. Which is why the Manila Classico win was so massive, di ba? Exactly. Oh. But yun yung sa akin eh. Hinebra fans are, are, are some of the most passionate and are some of the most proud mm. people out there. Mm. Parang, there's a disconnect between hashtag NSD and Tim Cohn. There's, there's a blatant disconnect because you cannot be NSD, and we were making this point for a very long time. NSD was born out of necessity because Hinebra had bad teams yeah. who just fought well. Yeah. Yeah. It can't be NSD when you have a, 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 a stack really team. good lineup and the best coach in the PBA. How, how is that NSD? So, I think dun pumapasok yung divide hmm. dun sa mga dun sa mga pag-iisip ng Hinebra fans because uh, in one side they they're happy that they're getting a good coach on, on the other side but they're not completely happy because this will the, the pure foods fans will always keep this hanging above their heads you asked me of you asked me um, about my reaction and immediately after the news broke the first hashtag that i saw was Hinebra hmm. Okay. And that that hit me like hard. Like I remember Carlo floating the idea na Tim Cohn transferring to to uh, Hinebra. And when he immediately said it, the first reaction in my head was Tim Cohn, my childhood hero coach, transferring to Hinebra. It's an exciting idea. Mm. But the more that I saw the Hinebra uh, um, hashtag, and the more that I saw how Pure Foods fans said, sinira nyo yung team namin. There was a, there's a certain, there's a certain guilt associated to it. Eh. Para kayong third party. Exactly. There, there, there. Para kami kayo, Kerida. Exactly. Uh, Hinebra acted kayo, as Kerida um, in this relationship no, between... The other woman. <laughs> there. Exactly. And I just wanna add to Carlos' point eh, na I feel that, I feel that NSD was a, was something also built. It wasn't Mark something. Bot, the joke. Yeah, it was first. It wasn't something given. <laughs> Hindi siya binigay. It was. Uh, it's a legacy that was built from from way back then, and that Hinebra fans still hold on to right now. And a lot of Hinebra fans on my timeline were hoping that Coach Frankie Lim could build that same kind of identity or could build that same kind of championship identity with Hinebra. I use the term "build" because parang Tim Cohn was given to Hinebra. He wasn't... It wasn't ever... It wasn't ever... I, I feel like we don't deserve Tim Cohn. Mm. Binigay lang talaga kasi nandun yung pressure. Ito yung gusto ng fans. Whatever. Win a championship. Win now and whatever. It, it, it feels dirty. And I can't believe na... Pure Foods fans, if Hinebra wins a championship, there will always be that imaginary asterisk. Yeah. To that cha- or to whatever be that, championship, that hashtag that comes out. Yeah, 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 it's it's all. I mean, they have ammo against us, and it's never going to be a clean championship hmm. for me. I mean, I'm saying this now without experience. This is this is like me being two years a Nebra fan without any championship. I mean, na ingito sao when you won your championship post Tim Cohn, ingito sao when you won your Grand Slam like- with with Tim Cohn, but like. Now it just feels like it's never going to be a clean championship. I could be changing my mind the moment Greg Slaughter's raising the trophy, yeah. but no, right I, now, I, that's I, how no, I, feel. I go even farther. I think every win, like every win of Hinebra, there's always going to be those whispers na parang, play ng, play ng star. Yan. 
Hindi na yung problema eh. And that's it. Hindi rin naman kasalanan ng Hinebra fans kasi hindi naman nila hiningi si Coach Tim. Like, you're, But, you're back into a corner. Exactly. Na manalo ka or matalo ka, may sasabihin sa yung tao. Yeah. Pag natalo ka, parang nandiyan na sa'yo si Coach Tim. Ba't ka pa natatalo? Pag na nanalo ka, hmm? Exactly what you said. Na nanalo lang kayo because tinanggal nyo si Coach Tim sa beer food. So, para sa akin, it, 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 the Hinebra fans are put in a very difficult situation where you basically have a, a crisis in, in your team identity. Um, mahirap manalo sa PBA ngayon. It, it, it's really tough sure to win. You have know, Junmar Fajardo. It makes everything easier. It, it, it's tough to win in the PBA, especially against a Junmar Fajardo, which was yep. my point. Kaya para sa akin, I, I, I do not envy Hinebra fans heading into the new season because it will be a, a tough season for them. Let's, let's talk about Pure Foods. I mean, you're, you're, you've distanced yourself with Pure Foods yeah. and alam mo you're... Oh, na, na, nalabas ko na lahat. Hashtag sports5.ph. <laughs> right, right. But for those who haven't, who haven't read it, like put yourself in the shoes of a Pure Foods fan. I mean, where, where does this rank in terms of of heartbreaking moments and of alam mo yun, how do you how do you even begin to describe you know this I, I, I described it dun sa article ko the, the biggest blow since Jerry was traded that's huge that's, that's, that's deep I mean that cuts deep that trade will live forever in infamy siguro top three Jerry this and then nun na trade si Pingris sa uh, San Miguel Beer mm. in, in that order It's tough for them because Pure Foods felt Now once Ian Sanggalang recovers fo- From whatever ear Samige Eman did to him <laughs> They'll be back to being Pure Foods again Samige did to him yeah, Samige did to him They'll be back to winning again Kasi well To be perfectly honest Kulang talaga I mean yeah. if you lose your Your equivalent of Vic Manuel Sa Alaska You lose all of your debt Makubutas ka I, I think they were looking forward to the season and, and they want the last season to be done with. Mm. Parang, sige, kalimutan na natin yan. Mm. We sucked. And now, let's, let's, let's move let's forward together. Let's get hungry together. again. Oh. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do it together. <laughs> and then, tinanggal mo yung ulo. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Parang like Mortal Kombat. Na, no? <laughs> I, I, that's why I said it was unfortunate. I, I feel, I mean... You have you really have to feel for Inebra fans because there's a lot more clamor for Coach Joe to come back than yeah. sa Tim Cohn. Eh. And it, parang Tim Cohn seems like such a natural enemy to Inebra. Eh. No, yeah. that, diba? yeah. Yeah. That, that, yeah. That's it, eh. yeah. Tim Cohn. Great point. It, it's like if you can't beat them, join them. Except reverse, Tim Cohn joins Inebra. Like yeah. Yeah. he's been beating Inebra. For his entire career, and then. Parang ganito manalo, oh, guys. Yeah. And then, and then, then, and then he comes in to teach Hinebra how to win, rather than Hinebra learning for themselves how to win. That's crazy. That's, that's what, that's what I feel so bad about. That's what I feel so negatively about this move. May mama do question ako though. Sige. I mean, moving forward, this is done. There's no point. Yeah, there's Cone, no point. Yeah. Cone is going to Hinebra and they'll announce it formally tomorrow. Thursday, sorry, Thursday, July 23. Tomorrow. Noon. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow morning. Mean, whenever, whenever you're listening yeah. to this. Polo. Pardon, I will be live tweeting that one. Mamaru, Mamaru question. Ah. Do, you, do you keep this Hinebra lineup intact? If you're Tim Cone. Because the only way this works for me, if I'm Tim Cone, is if I have total control, like what I did with Pure Foods. Na lahat ng taong gagalawin ko, ang pangit. Lahat, lahat ng taong <laughs> gusto kong gusto, hawakan. <laughs> pangit pa rin. Lahat ng players tao, lahat ng na gusto play, ko sa locker room ko. <laughs> pangit pa rin. <laughs> <laughs> lahat ng players na gusto ko sa team ko, mm. ako yung magde-decide. You can't meddle with my business. Now, do you see Coach Tim moving pieces around. I'll flip the question first to you. Do you see Coach Tim having total control? Yes. Okay, so we've got that down. Yes. Coach Tim will have total control. Yes. Which is somewhat of a sigh of relief for you never diba, parang it's, it's, it's from the Ato Agustin Huddle na apat lima yung nagsasalit ng coach. From 
from that to like Tim Cook. Yeah, at least at the very least. Now, uh, there's no point keeping the score. There's no point keeping this in every so? team. Yeah, uh, I feel that if you're gonna go with Tim Cook, go all out now. Can I can I just be quick? Yeah, I don't go. think he has full control. What? I think na 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 punit na yung <laughs> theory na coach Tim, you know, has full control. Well, because, because, he, is, because well, he did not have full control. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Well, so I, I really think you have, you still have Al Francis Chua there. You still have this, this is the crown, all of the pressure. You have so many people who are going to be whispering in his ear. I, I think that there's no such thing as full control for a coach when it comes to Barangay Hinebra. It just doesn't exist anymore. Well, if that's the case. Bitter. <laughs> <laughs> ka lang eh. No, no, no. Hey, it's all I'm saying. If he does have full control, I think you should go all out, na rin. Parang if this move won't work unless Tim Cohn has has his players. Kung mga getting Tim Cohn, there's no turning back from there. Yeah. So you might as well just be yeah. the biggest heel in the exactly. entire league. Alam mo siya sa bed. Sulitin mo na. Alam mo yung, Sulitin mo na. Yung point mo uh. na magpalit na ng siya ng jersey. They should have just done that. They should have just. They should have just done, done that. that. For sure. Fans would be so confused. But they should have just completely done that. Yeah, I, I'm just saying. <laughs> Your barangay Hinebra. Star hot shots, de ba? I don't think I don't think Tim Cohn moves into next season without getting the players that he needs. That that's that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah 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 yeah. Polo polo. Top three wish list for Tim Cohn and Hinebra. Oh. Right now? Yeah. Again, not we're, we not, don't know anything. Not, not rumors. This is not you rumors. Don't know this is not rumors. rumors. Completely do not know anything. <laughs> and this is answering a lot of the F- Ask FTS questions. Yeah. 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 I hope. Three. My from, wish list. From the entire My NBA. wish list. And this is nothing like this is this is this has nothing to do with Tim Conway. My wish list would be Joe Devance. Okay. For uh, Wait, quickly. Uh, I, I want to thank all 63 people who are live streaming. Wow! Right. Damn, 63! 63. 63. Woo-hoo. Love you guys. Okay, <laughs> okay go. Um, got Joe. Joe Devans. I want... He's gonna be a monster in the I want Joe Devans. I'll, I'll make it realistic as possible. Yeah, yeah. I want yeah. Joe Devans. Who, who are you willing to let go for Joe Devans? Chapit Aguilar. <laughs> Let's make it realistic. Let's make it realistic. Let's make it realistic. Let's make it realistic. <laughs> Two, number two. Uh, there's some way a Baraco player is gonna go to Hinebra. So it would be Jay Sintal. Who, who are you willing to let go for Jay Sintal? Ellis. Can I be real? Uh, you're not gonna you don't need to give up Chris Ellis to get Jay Sintal. Yeah, but Paul is Oh yeah, we're being real. No, 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 it's a combination. Okay. There. I, I'm not saying these are straight trades. Yeah, yeah, this will be like. Of course. It might actually be like five players for five players. Gonna, no. Um, and. Can I? Go. May I volunteer? Yeah. Ultimate heel move. Mm. As in, you just want the collective hate of every. Yeah. With a thousand sons? Get PJ Simon. <laughs> Four. Get PJ Simon. Four. I'm one fourth? JR? <laughs> Get PJ Simon. Get PJ Simon. Po. You're not. You're never gonna get James Yap. You're not gonna get Alex Maliari because he's a part of the core. The young core. He's part are of the young sure? core. Melton are, and Maliari. Sure? I was gonna go for. Like, Ma- this is Mamelo, right? Totally Mamelo. Oh, okay, okay. I was gonna go. You want the ultimate? Ne, eto lang ah. If you're a pure foods fan, which hurts you more, PJ or Ping? Oh, oh no! <laughs> I'm just, I'm just no, saying. I'm not even no. Hypothetical. Do you, are you just, are you just, do you just want to hurt I'm just, fans I'm just, right I'm now? I'm just asking, which hurts oh you more? Oh my god. Ping hurts you more. Ping hurts you more. more. I think PJ hurts you more. We're not sure. You know, I think PJ just because he spent his entire career there. I... I I'm not even gonna <laughs> venture into that. For pure foods. I'm not even gonna <laughs> venture into that. Pure Foods fans! I'm not even gonna venture into that but Maliari. Maliari. Oh, For and then you let go of? A combination of whoever's there. I mean, like Greg. that's no, 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 that's like Monford. Who's your like Barakael? Oh, there. Six untouchable players. Greg Slaughter. Yep. Elite Tenorio. Yep. You can't get Fast and the Furious. Yep. That's that's already yep. a given. Sol. Yep. And well, one I'm more. Well, I'm I'm that's it. Everyone's. Yeah, everyone's pretty much give. Up. If I were to get one more, probably Ellis, but probably Ellis. 
And I'm I'm just putting Sol there because I don't want him to be traded again. again. Yep. Yeah. And away from his best shot. At, at a exactly, time. exactly. <laughs> embrace the hate. It's you like, know how you embrace the hate more? Uh, you really want to know yeah, how to embrace the hate? Get PJ from Pure Foods. Yep. Get Calvin from Alaska. Embrace the hate. Then you become you embrace become Darth hate. Vader. Embrace the hate. This is the it, it's the scene in 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 uh, the, ano yung Revenge of the Sith. Yep. Yung pinatay ni Anakin Skywalker lahat ng mga bata sa yep. kwarto. Yep. Is in pinatay oh. niya. Ano si Nia? Pinatay niya. Oh. Yung, lahat ng young Jedi. Oh. Oh. Yun, yun, yun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ay, uh, man. Uh, so, so you oh, you do think that there's there's going to be moves. I think that Tim Cohn will have full control. He will ask for full control or retire. That's that's his that's his play. That's why I think he gets full control because he can he can just opt to retire and you know Alaska can take him back or whatever but he can just opt to retire. Sino to? And, no, Tim Cohn. Huh? To get full control. No, Alaska won't take him. No, Alaska won't take him back. But to get full control, we take I take him back. <laughs> <laughs> take him back. I love you. Ah, oh, oh, that's a good thing. You broke my heart. Yeah. Come, come at me. <laughs> Alex Compton still here. <laughs> yeah. But there, he, he retires or gets full control. That's, ulit, that's... ulit lang. Jody Vance. Jody Vance. JC uh, Intal, Intal. And Maliari. Alex Maliari. Because realistically, you're going to be trotting out LA Tenorio, Maliari, JC Intal, Jody Vance, Craig Slaughter. Do, do, and that, that, that's a triangle that will work. Those three are realistic. I feel like I they're realistic. So I, I feel like so. they're realistic. Okay, um... So okay, let's stop because because PJ Simon was you know a wild shot. It was apparently realistic to you. <laughs> and you're saying embrace the hate, find a way to get PJ. And, and in all honesty, if Coach Tim goes from Pure Foods to Hinebra, anyone but maybe James Yap could go from Pure Foods to Hinebra. Just saying it. I mean, it, it it's it, that's just how real. No, real talk, real talk, real yeah. talk, Carlo. Yeah. The, Tim Cohn has enough pull to get a core huge. A huge core, a huge chunk of the core. What's his pull? I mean, is it like, do you think that after this move, uh, Star still keeps their core? I mean, um, yung sa akin lang. I think Coach Tim will get some leeway in terms of moving pieces around. Mm. I just think that this won't be a Hinebra Barajo deal. Like, if Pure Foods has to let go of some people, they will get equal value. And at the end of the day, I mean, yeah, yeah. you're you're breaking the core, but I mean, it's broken anyway. You took you took off Tim Code. The, the center, yeah, yeah. You ripped the heart out. Hindi kunin yun narin yun, di ba? Guys, can you not use rip the heart out? Easy lang tayo sa terms. Palitan na lahat. Palitan, palitan mo na lahat. Fresh start na from. Um, completely lost my point. Why? Why aren't if 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 you can. Trade if you you need a conduit to trade players. Mm. Why don't you need a conduit to trade coaches? No, why? Coaches are a signed contract. Yeah. 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 Because it's because of yeah. the three. It's, 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 we, yeah, we can talk about okay. it. Yeah. So, yeah. No, MVP did it with, with Coach Norman. <laughs> exactly. I, the, the, I think that was the point there. Coach Norman was transferred. All right. coach. Oh, yeah. and then, then SMC did it to Barack Obama. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, let's talk basketball, man. Let's talk basketball on the court. Di pa ba basketball? Di pa. Lato bugso na dam dami niya. What is what is the effect of Tim Cohn to Hinebra? How does this change Hinebra in terms of a legitimacy? Uh, in terms of of the system? How how does this ano? How does this change Hinebra? Because it has to be positive. Okay, I I I'm assuming that Tim Cohn stays more than just one conference, mm-hmm. and I'm assuming as full control. But this is all positive. There's no negative. Basketball-wise, that you can take away from this, Tim Cohn will be bringing not just the triangle. I think you made this great point that Tim Cohn is more than just the triangle. It's so much. It's more. a level of professionalism that I feel he never hasn't experienced since their last championship. It's mm. a level of it's a it's 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 just it's just such a good move basketball-wise because Greg Slaughter is. I'll put it this way. The only path to the championship right now goes through Jun Marfard. Yep. Mm. And Hinebra has the has the, the best, best weapon. Yeah, the be- has yeah. the best weapon. Sure, sure. And for four conferences, they've been misfiring their gun. Now that they have a marksman to fire their gun, this is their best shot to win a championship. Pressure's there. 
I mean, all the pressures there, media scrutiny, fan scrutiny will be there. But right now, I don't think there's a better shot at the championship than right now with Tim Cohn at the helm. Do you think they're going to win the Philippine Cup championship? No. Uh, it, because San Miguel is going to win the Philippine Cup. Right? San Miguel's still here. It, 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 San Miguel's like, can, can, I, can we just stop for a while? San Miguel's yeah. are like, uh, hello! We're <laughs> champion lang namin. Hello! Guys, for the record, before all of this happened, we were completely intent on devoting this entire app to SMB. 45 minutes. Yeah. But, Top. Al- alam mo yung, alam hello! Mo yung, alam mo yung panganay na kapatid na nakatingin lang habang nag-aaway yung dalawang bata? Oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. ah. Kulit naman itong dalong, diba? um, so so more than the, the 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 basketball on the floor, it's the legitimacy of saying holy crap, coach Tim yeah. has things under control on the sidelines. Yeah. There's gonna be no more panic. There's gonna be there's no going more to be no more fingers. there's going to be no more JJ Helterbrand blind drives. At the end of oh, ball games, throwing that's, that's, it to the shot clock. Yeah, yeah. I, and and that's the thing, eh? There, he, there, there'll be no more Mac Barakel throwing inbound passes. Exactly. Yep. Because yep. it's Alex Malia. <laughs> 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 or Joe Devans. Or Joe Devans. And the thing there is, Hinebra fa- Hinebra players are hungry for a championship. Meaning, if you're talking about response to Tim Cohn, nanjan yan. They will be. I, I would not be surprised if they fall if they fall in line under Coach Tim Cohn just like that. Who, mm, go ahead. No, no, no. Who are, the, who are going to be the biggest benefactors? Greg Slaughter. Greg Slaughter. I mean, Greg Slaughter with Tim Cohn right now, I'm not afraid, and this is like such a bold statement that I'm not afraid to say that he is the best shot at breaking June Mars MVP streak next year. Sure, I agree. I agree. And that, 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 that's, that, that's bold, but that, that might be true. I mean, I've said a lot of bold statements anyway. Sure. Why stop now? <laughs> Why stop now? How many championships ni Tim Cohn sa Alaska? One million. Too many. Thirteen. Too many. Too many. Too many. Thirteen out of the eight. We had Pochwino. We had uh, Asi, uh, Sanitos. Ali P. We had Ali P. Diamond Simpson. We had Diamond. Um, Six ten Diamond Simpson. We never Six, had. We never <laughs> had a franchise changing center. Who was the star? Rafi Rivas Rives and Mark Pingris and you had the big slow for a while. That's it. Okay. Is there anyone and then they got them Greg remotely Slaughter comparable? Now. I mean, the closest maybe to Greg Slaughter is Sanitos at his absolute yeah. prime. Yeah. But now you it's get Greg Slaughter. Yeah. I mean, I, I know Coach Dem must have felt some emotions when this was relayed upon him. Yep. <laughs> Parang, it's possible. We'll find out well, tomorrow. Well, it was sudden. It, it was very sudden. And he did not, he did not have like, the best of endings with his old team. But if you're Tim Cohn, I mean, you have to smile a bit mm. with, with the thought that you'd, you'd be having the center that you never had in your entire career. Yeah. Now, now finally, you have... A big man who will get you 20 points and 10 rebounds. I was talking about time. this with Carlo. It's like Phil Jackson going from Luke Longley, Bill Wennington, Sha- Bill Cartwright to Shaquille O'Neal. That, that's, that's, that's probably what, what Coach Tim will be experiencing next season. Who else aside from, aside from uh, Greg? Uh, I, think, I think one player who might get a new lease on life is Chris Ellis. Because I know for a fact that well, when he's transferred to, to start, to start. Yeah, he'll, yeah. No, if he does stay in Enebra, I mean, I know that Coach Tim has always wanted to coach Chris Ellis. And I think he's just going to, he's going to be like Andre Iguodala, doing li- every little thing. And I think a disciplined Chris Ellis is going to be a nightmare for, for him. I feel that if he was able to transform Alex Maliari into the player that he was in the Governor's Cup, yeah, Chris sure. Ellis is a very possible candidate. And as then ben Eli Tenorio, of course. Yeah, because he's very, very familiar with Coach Tim. I have one more name. Hmm. Our boy. Rodney. Oh. Brondial. Our boy. Imagine Brondial playing the high post passing. Playing the Mark Pingris role. Exactly. exactly. And, and we all know that Coach Tim wanted to get him to pure food. We all knew that. That was clear. He never actually stole that from Pure Food. One good move. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Next, next. Oh, Pure Food's next. Oh. Carlo, mm. what is going to happen to Pure Food? You name a head coach. 
Please. Please name a head coach. We're, we're, we're floating coach. We're, Jason they Wendt. are. Where? I mean, the media, everyone. Uh, okay, everyone. Okay. Coach Jason or I heard Coach Chard naman this Richard. I think you just have to make a choice now and you just have to stick with it. Uh, Coach Jason is... He has one year with with one year, one season and five games. Mm-hmm. Parang, but if you're if you're thrown into that situation, na kinausap kani, kinausap kani RSA na hey, ikaw yung gagawin namin coach. Tatangge ka ba? Then, <laughs> you, it, it, it's an offer that you cannot refuse. Pero para sa akin lang, whoever it is, ang bigat niyan. I mean. Yeah. You saw what happened with Hinebra when they started losing. It was coach after coach after coach yeah. and coaches that we never saw again. Yeah. I mean, after Juno handled after Juno handled Hinebra mm. for for a conference. <laughs> bigla, parang, okay, handled. W- wala na si wala na si. Kena pa nung mubata yon. Oh, gusto <laughs> naman. Oh, okay naman. May sense okay, naman yun. One hundred fifteen. May sense naman. May sense naman yun. Sabi nila. <laughs> Galing eh, kasi nung sasalitawin, alam ko dito dito eh. Meta. Kaya siya nasabi ko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Sorry, Prince. If, if you're Pure Foods, the, the worst thing that could happen right now is you start losing and you start acting like how Ginebra acted. Mm. I mean, yes, you have to name a coach right now, but you must refuse to fall into that same trap. Na if, if siya yung napili niyong coach, if it's Jason, Johnny A, or... Del Rosario, panindigan mo. My point? <laughs> may I, may I, ano, demo ah, sa'yo? Okay. I think that now would be a perfect time, like, just to add to what you said, to take a risk on Coach Jason or Coach Chard. The reason is because I think there's going to be no pressure on Star Hot Shots this upcoming season. Mm-hmm. Um, I just want to... nothing to play for. I... Not naman nothing to play for, but... <laughs> something naman. They have something to play for. Pride Conte. Pride, sure. Uh, but... <laughs> Diba? Parang they lost their coach, they're gonna get some players removed. So I feel like, okay, this is in essence a rebuilding season. Sige, sige. Ikaw, they're tamo. still gonna get some good players. No, okay. no, no. I have no, I have no stake on Pure Foods. All I wanted Clearly. to point out was that Carlo made a good point. Eh. If, if Hinebra didn't do so many crazy, so many stupid moves last conference, Pure Foods would still have a perfectly capable coach to take care of them. Jeff Carriasso. Exactly. Or Olsen Nacela. Eh, or, or wala. Both. Nasa Alaska na. <laughs> or both. So, eh, wala. Before we go into a break, you want you, you wanted, nah, you, you wanted to go, you wanted to, the world to burn when you said PJ Simon. Yeah, actually. Chuck, would, Chuck should, just should, watched, should, but they, the Hinebra should get Some people just want to watch the, the world now, burn. Now, Pure Foods doesn't have a coach. The last time they did not have a coach, I think Coach Richard was also interim coach. And then, Things happen. So, if you really, really want to watch the word burn, I think you should make a Godfather offer to Alex Compton. <laughs> that, that's a great. That's, a, that's a, yeah. I think that's a great. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's a great. You remember the last time that Pure Foods did not have a coach after the George Gallen yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark Ages? Yeah, yeah. They did not have a coach. Interim coach, he coach Chard. That's big lang. Whoa. The old from Alaska is here. I will take this bird. <laughs> <laughs> I will turn it sideways. <laughs> and stick it to me. You're not going to be able to do it. Coach Compton never leave Alaska. Please. <laughs> that, yeah, if that happens, I'm done watching TV. <laughs> I'm done, for real. Um, Oh, let, sige. Um, hindi yun rumor, ha? Nililinaw lang natin. Rumor lang, guys. Hindi yun rumor. Hindi. Hindi, hindi ka rumor to. Kagagawan natin to. Uh, this, same way that PJ Simon to Enebra is just something we're making up on the fly. Um, I, I would not be surprised if people start hitting us on the street. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't, PJ I, pala to Enebra. <laughs> I don't even want to look at my timeline right now. Um, oh, le, le, before we take a break and do whatever we do, um, what does this mean to the PBA? Like break like this, this the seismic shift um, and moving of pieces. You you remove the head coach of a of just a, a dynasty that's not even like a year after a, a year. A year past. removed from yeah, it, yeah. removed from it, winning everything. Moving that moving that coach to the the glamour team of, of of the PBA, the biggest fan base. What does this do? I mean, what about the other teams? How does this affect San Miguel? 
how does this affect Token Techs? Because you know, the, are they still second, uh, the second best team? You know, versus a, a Ginebra with Coach Tim. What happens to Star? Are they now part of the whole Meralco Global Port? You know, con- I, I don't even know where to start. Okay. Okay. I'll start off by saying that this move clearly shows that the SMC franchise has too much power in the league. I mean, wow. I, I won't, I won't sugarcoat it. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of a team in an SMC corporation, but I feel like they have too much power if they're able to dictate championships this way. I mean, Tim Cohn moving to Hinebra was a move to dictate a championship to one of their franchises. And this is this move wasn't even like a couple of was a weekend removed from one of their teams Absolutely. winning the championship. Diba? So this was I mean this is a shuffle move na tipong we want Hinebra naman to win the championship. It feels like they're parang pinagpapasapasahan lang yung trophy within that organization. And that, that that's that's how I feel about it. Now with regard to the shift in the PBA it if if players are moved and Tim Kung gets his system in place, in a couple of conferences, Hinebra might actually be a top team. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There. Oh, oh yeah. This this tells me that above everything, the PBA SMC sees its teams mm. as still marketing tools. Um Parang we, we would like to live in a world that every every decision made by teams is basketball is related. Basketball related. <laughs> yeah. we, 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 so far past that. We, we want to believe that. I mean, we, we want to be fans of like 100% legitimate basketball competition. But this is just, you know, another, another parang sign, a huge blinking light sign. Uh, it, it's not. It, it, the this, PBA isn't. This... This league runs parang with the whims of the Manage. team owners mm-hmm. and how they want to push their product. I mean, sinabi ko na rin eh, uh, Star had its run, uh, the, their fans were happy. SMB is on its run and their, hands, uh, their fans are happy. So, I think the SMC umbrella just felt that to be May perfectly fair. Na hindi pang, ano. Like, bigyan mo na lang. Bigyan, bigay mo yung best shot ng Hinebra to win a championship. So. And you know what? I wouldn't actually be surprised for Tim Cohn to be removed from Hinebra once they do win one championship. Maybe. I mean, it's not, it's not a surprise not, not, for me. Nothing sacred anymore. Exactly. Uh, and that, that's, I think that's the one that upsets me the most. There's nothing sacred in the PBA anymore. Even championships have lost their shine because of, you know, moves like this. At the end of the day, I think just to, ano, ito yung sa SMC side. I, at the end of the day, if you go to their office, if you if you walk around there, you will see championship trophies of Pure Foods, Ginebra, and San Miguel side by side. Diba? Parang, I, I think it's all about just keeping it within the family. Kumaga. Diba? Parang, ma- mabuti nang talo, matalo yung Ginebra sa San Miguel kaysa sa matalo sa Token Tex. Of course. Or sa Alaska. Of or any that's, and that's, I think that's the entire reason why. If you ask me, you know, uh, this isn't ano, anymore. Um, we're so far past already that this is all for championship, uh, for basketball reasons. Because if that were the case, then Blackwater wouldn't have given up Larry Rodriguez. No, don't give it up. Oh, wouldn't have, wouldn't have gotten Larry Rodriguez in exchange for their pick. Um, Tim Cohn would have stayed and retired a hot shot for his entire career. And, you know, Baraco wouldn't be doing what Baraco was doing. Same thing for Global Part. So, yeah, at the end of the day, guys. It's basketball, it's and, the PBA, and, it's flawed, it's imperfect, but, but we love it anyway. You, you're not going to change the and, channel. And, and yung thing, anyway. yung thing dyan is, uh, parang SMC just really consolidated everything. Yeah, it's consolidation like, of ours. It's, it, they built a higher wall and it's harder for teams like Alaska, for teams yep. like Meralco, for teams like if, Rain if or anything, Shine. If anything, it's harder. Uh, we talked about this off, offline, na parang how impossible is it going to be for an indie team to win a championship in the next few seasons? It's going Because you have all three SMC teams. Then you have Token Text. Who's, who's there? Who's still stockpiling talent? Who's going to get Moala Tautua? And, and who's the clear flagship of, of, of the MVP of MVP. Na parang Meralco and Enlex will, you know, are going to give away to Token Text. If you go naman to, to Ayala Avenue, you go to the offices, 
You'll see na bidang bida talaga si Tom and Tex. With, without, without a doubt. So you have those four teams who are going to be wrestling, while you know teams like Alaska, Rain or Shine are just gonna be. Uh, is it? Can we can we join the party? Pede, pede, makikiran po. Makikiran. Magsisweep lang ako. <laughs> so if you ask me that, that's what's going to be. Na parang parang sobra magiging homogenized na yung TV in the next few conferences, next few seasons. Na like we were hoping, we were wondering. Um, if, if this is going to be the age of the indie teams, because you've had Alaska, you've had Rainer Shine come in and actually make it to the finals in the past few conferences. So, I lang, you know, this is a completely depressing idea for Hinebra, for Alaska and Rainer Shine and other non SMC or MDP teams. But this move just really sh- goes to show that there's no chance in hell that a SMC or a Hinebra team is not going to find a way to push itself back in the chance. And I also wouldn't put it past other teams uh, Kia Blackwater Global Port to start you know selling talent and just using their teams as marketing tool because if they're not gonna win championships anyway what's the I mean exactly. what's the point diba? so parang yun lang yung yun lang yung taot ko the way this move affected it's not just Hinebra and Pure Foods that, that's affected yeah, you, had, you have to take a, a look at the entire landscape of the PBA and that Next season is going to be totally different for the entire PBA. Summarize this trade kind of sort of broke the PBA. Not a trade. Reshuffle. Okay, Tim Cohn to Hinebra kind of sort of broke the PBA. Kind of. Good job. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, I don't know what we're going to talk, what we're gonna talk about, but we'll find a way to keep, uh, talking. keep talking about this because you guys hopefully aren't going to change the channel. Stick with us. You are still watching From the Stand. You have like... What do you think is ailing local football? Well, politics. Should athletes be endorsers? Yes, why not? Why did you refuse to be the Haskell's head coach countless times? I've been there, done that. Too much politics, like I said. Uh, like I posted one time a few days ago, coaching is a thankless job. With what's happening with Michael Weiss, uh, we talked about it already before. Uh, personally, one-on-one, and I said, it happens. And I said, you should know that because you worked also somewhere in other countries as well. Uh, there's no such thing as a permanent job in coaching, in any sport. Why do you say thankless? Well, you're only as good as the wins. And then that's it. Uh... Plus, of course, there are other factors like uh, disrespect, honor, honesty, and all of this. Because you're just a coach, you're not a manager. Uh, you are not the association, you're not the institution. So you, as a coach, you're just an employee. So you're as good only as, as the wins that you have. What's up, guys? We're back. Um, we, we got depressing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, but if you're a Hinebra fan and you're SMC, uh, you're uh, Pure Foods, you know, you, you live. Uh, okay, we, pro- we promised... Or we were we wanted to talk about SMB. We wanted to talk about the Leo Awards. Um, Next week. Fortunately, we're kind of sort of running out of time. Kind of so, sort of. Um, we'll, we'll, in a future episode, I promise, we promise you guys that we'll get to that. The SMB fans, we promise. Next, SMB I mean, fans. Next week, we'll be giving you all the... You ang Ginebra at Pure Hood for actually not us having enough time to talk about them. They won a championship. I don't think they care if we talk about them. Quickly lang, quickly lang. is great, okay? SMB is awesome. Great. Like everything that's happening to Hinebra, it actually could not even matter. Yeah, and then they, they keep winning. And then by the looks of it, they're just getting started. Yeah. 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 Jun Marie. No man, tangi dapat yung pump fake. Oh. <laughs> para para tinamaan nanya si Romeo Travis nung gra. Grabe yan. <laughs> hey, stay healthy Jun Mar. Stay healthy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, take care of them. Take, take care of them. Ano, give them, up, them give feet. up. Plant their fascias. Kung kung yeah. kailangan. Oh, but we have some time so we're going to go through some of your questions. Can I just say? Yes. Pacing uh, from our last episode. I don't know what the biggest shock was for me this week. Coaching uh, Tim Cohn moving from Pure Foods to Hinebra, or the Pabebe girls saying that they just acted. I mean, I was heartbroken. I actually was. I I I, I felt the resolve to make a video na Pabebe. Tapos biglang gaganon oh, lang. Oh, grabe yung grabe yung baligtad na yun dito. Yun ang hilter. 
Wala silang karapatan. Oh, baby, wala SMC. talaga. Wala silang wala karapatan. Silang karapatan. Okay. Rock and roll to the world. <laughs> <laughs> Buti nila may bago. Alright. 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 Rock and roll to the world. Ayos ba tayo dyan? Ayos ba tayo dyan? Rock and roll to the world. Okay. Oh, game. Ask and tell time, mga chong. Okay. Game, game. Una nga na. Una nga na. Tinanong ni, ano, hey, can we just shout out our friend, si Nick Nico Pare. Nick's Pare. Question from Dubai. UAE. Do you think, ooh, What talking about watch the world burn? Do you think Coach Tim is going to trade the Fast and the Furious? No, no, no. They're gonna trade. They're not no. gonna trade Kagiwa no. or JJ. Helter Coach Tim Cohen has too much respect in his body to to break Fast and the Furious. Oh, follow question. Then anong naman ni Grace? Uh, Grace G S M. Your Grace. Do you think that this is a perfect time for Kagiwa and JJ to to retire? No, no, <laughs> no. Just pakeramdaman mo man lang kung ano yung uh, feeling na mayroong Tim no. Cohen. Chaka ano eh? Chaka again, you need that leadership from Kagiwa to push the team. Gutom yan eh. He needs to get his team in line to win a championship. And another point was, Polo, what, five years ago was saying James Yap was done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Repeatedly. Yeah, I was. And, and, and then and Tim Gon- Coach Tim Gon arrived and he changed James Yap. I, yeah. I think Mark I was, Kagiwa yeah, could be. That, that, that same effect could happen to Mark Kagiwa. Oh, may, may question. Oh. Si J.M. Perez. By the rules, would Blakely, Denzel, and James Mays? Ne, tinatanong niya kung pwede ba daw na lumipat mm, from your foods to... Pure Foods Imports to Inebra. The, the only rule against it is you have... The old team should sign off, off on it. And other than that, wala naman talagang rule. So, with Coach Tim decide, wanted to hire Diamond Simpson, the 6-7 Diamond Simpson, <laughs> <laughs> Instead of the 6, 8, and 13, 16 Denzel Bulls in, in the Commissioner's Cup, di lang natuloy. Pe- pwede. Pwede siya. But I don't think Coach Tempcon would do that to Pure Food. But mo tira to pick? We're completely off the rails right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Five minutes. <laughs> Five minutes. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Mahal naman tayo yung anime peeps. Eh. Mabilis na to. Okay. Um, tinanong naman ni JM. Oh, you just asked that. Uh, oh, this is an interesting mm. thing, Paolo. Tinanong ni Angeli Vicedo, if, if, if RSA has already confirmed the move to Hinebra, why do you think Coach Tim still wants to have a press con tomorrow? I think it's just the right thing to do. I mean, I mean... It's a decent it's thing. It's a decent, it's, it's the human thing to do to address both fan bases. He, it's, it's, a, it's a chance to address Pure Foods and probably assuage whatever questions that they have and a chance to address Hinebra fans and address this move. Mm. Para lang hindi siya hindi lang siya blind move na you know bigla lang mangyari start na next season. I so, think Tim Cohn just really wants to uh, closure lang. Tama. Di ba parang kung hihiwalayin mo yung show tamo closure. W- wag, 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 wag naman yung wag ka na lang magparamdam. Oh, Masakit yun eh. Itetext mo na lang siya, di ba? Pag <laughs> ganun. Or idadaan mo sa ibang tao. Oh. Paolo, ito. Interesting question din. Hmm. Tinanong ni Igaster. Um, do you think Do you think Kagiwa will have enough minutes with Coach Tim? Or do you think that Coach Tim is going to go with the youth or veterans or halo-halo? Again, this is all depending on two things. The players that will be that, yeah, transferring to, to Hinebra. And how easily Mark Kagiwa and L.A. Tenorio and Greg Slaughter adapt to the Great new point. system Great that point. he's going to put in. Sure. So um, don't expect Kagiwa to... You know, immediately buy into it because he's been so used to being an isolation player all his life that playing off ball might be something new to him. But he's shown before that kaya naman niya. Oh, I think so because Coach Tim really likes playing his vets. Yeah. So in any case, kung may matututo sa triangle, I think um, Mark is you know parang patient enough and intelligent enough and and. and Professional enough to actually put effort into learning the new system. Oh, okay. yummy! Any last? Oh, may naiita pa kaming questions? No, or no, no, good? No, no, no. good. Uh, I just want to shout out to everyone that's like following us oh, yeah. on Twitter. Oh, like Raptor Luis, Luis Young is. Kaya dami niyang questions. Maraming J.M. Perez, to... Brigido Castillo, at sa Ezron Walker. At saka sa tao nung lumipat si Tim Cohn sa Hinebra. Mm. Mm. Si Ma'am Tep Mags. <laughs> oh, yeah. Napakasaya niya. Ang saya niya. <laughs> All, all to all 130 people who join us for this live yeah. stream. You guys are the best. Uh, I have what? one final word. Yeah, sure. Uh, Inebra fans, mm-hmm. I just want to tell you guys 
temper your expectations. This this isn't an immediate championship for Ginebra. Let's Sige. Let's not wag wag natin agad-agadin and it's parang if we preach continuity before, I think now even more than that, it's time to preach continuity. You have a message for the beer foods fans. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I apologize. I wanted nothing. You got a message for no Pure part Foods and Ginebra fans. Pure Foods fans, thank you. Ginebra fans, well, <laughs> suck it. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna, you got, you're gonna get a great coach. You're gonna have a very, very bright future. But the question is, at what cost? Again, coming from Alaska fans, uh, we've been there. It hurts, but hey, we won a championship after. One. We one. won one championship. Hey, that's more than what? That's more than Hinebra. That's more than Hinebra. <laughs> you said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You said that. I, I, that. I said it to stick trail up. That's a fact. <laughs> that's a fact, Jack. All right. Hey, that's going to do it for this episode of From the Stands. Thank you again to everyone who checked out the show or who will be checking out the show. Again, if you haven't, please subscribe to our friendly neighborhood From the Stands YouTube page. Uh, simply search. From the Stance Podcast on YouTube, and it should be there. It's always, I'm, I'm always posting. Yeah, if, if you guys subscribe, and if you reach a certain number, uh, we will be able to share with you the links na mas mabilis so that you can join in the live stream, stream every single... Uh, Balit ako, wild daw yung comment section. Wild, 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 wild. I can't wait to read it. Um, yeah, so, and uh, if you haven't yet, please follow us. Uh, uh, Polo underscore Busamante, um, Carlo underscore Pamindoan, and uh, at Chuck underscore... I don't know that. Anything right. else? We good. We good. We good. Hey, that's gonna do it for this episode of From the Stands. On behalf of Paul Bzamante, on behalf of Carlo Pamintuan, my name is Chuck Araneta. See you next week for another episode of From the Stands. <laughs> The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised.